Now, let's discuss this further. South African National Defense Union's National Secretary, Piki Khrif, joins us now via Zoom. Piki, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Now, we're starting to piece the, you know, the information together just a little bit. You know, according to the information that you have, what really happened on that day? Well, I've spoken to at least one of the victims that was involved. And he described it as a SUV uh, simply appearing next to him on the highway while he was driving back to Pretoria. And one of the occupants was pointing a firearm, R5 rifle, at him as the victim. And uh, he thought that it was a hijacking that was going down. And then another car joined and they were pushed to the side of the road and forced to stop. Uh, after which the assailants in the black SUVs got out, smashed the windows of the cars and dragged the occupants of the polo out and uh, of course as you see in the video brutally assaulted them mm. now as the south african uh, you know uh, defense uh, national defense union um what is your reaction i mean you, you've seen the video it has gone viral you've also heard of course from one of the victims uh, what just went through your mind because now questions are being raised is this the conduct of law enforcement authorities <laughs> That's absolutely outrageous, you know, the way that uh, these police behaved. Um, I find it uh, in very bad taste that Minister Mbalu, uh, Fakila Mbalula would be uh, out on victim blaming exercises at this stage. The fact of the matter is nothing, absolutely nothing uh, justifies what those policemen did. Uh, even if they were so-called provoked. If they think a law was broken or somebody's safety was threatened, all they had to do was eliminate the threat by pulling the car over and arresting the occupants. Uh, there's never a need for such a brutal attack on uh, defenseless civilians. Now, what action uh, do you want you know, to happen? Uh, action Society, in our previous clip, you know, saying that it has written to IPED, uh, demanding that the assault charge should be escalated to assault G GBH, attempted murder, intimidation, and pointing a firearm. What's your uh, wish? To, what would you like to see to those that are involved? We would like to see as a union that this entire matter, uh, the entire... Uh, scene that played out on that video is prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. That includes various charges. It includes reckless driving. It includes the assault with uh, GBH. Uh, it includes uh, damage to pr private property uh, and even attempted murder. Because if a person is unconscious next to the side of the road and you keep on kicking him in the head, certainly you know there's a chance that this person might pass and you nevertheless carry on with your action. In other words, you basically uh, foresee the, out, the possible outcome and you simply go ahead anyway. That means if you knew you could die from this and you did it anyway, that is definitely attempted murder. All right, Piki, thank you so much for your time. Really do appreciate uh, your comments there. Piki Khriyev is the South African National uh, Defense Union's National Secretary, just commenting there on that uh, recent assault.